Hello and welcome to another Raggy's homebrew video. And uh, ridiculous, it's nine o'clock at night and I'm absolutely as sober as the bloody come. Anyway, um, there's always one, isn't there? So tonight I've bottled up the um, Evil Dog. Bulldog Brews Evil Dog, there we go. And straight from the barrel, here's the barrel. So, chucked it into the barrel, uh, put the hops in late last night like a twat. So the hops have only been in for a day, but at least they'll give it a right good burst. Um, so yeah, here's the colour. It's going to be a hazy pour, I get that. So, uh, the original um, ABV that, I, that it could have been was 13.78. It did not get that. It, it, it basically, it's just over 10%. So, it's a triple IPA. So, when you think about it, and, I, and I'll just bring up the price on the website on Creative... I got it from Creative Rhyme Making, for me the best, uh, one of the best uh, homebrew places in the country. Let me just, Creative Wine Making, and, I, and I'll show you the price of, of what they go for. Oh my God, I suffer from prickly heat and I've got the fucking worst itches, I tell you. Thank God it's only me back and nothing else, but even that's itchy. Uh, beer kits, here we go. So, Bulldog Ruse, Bulldog Beer Kits, and yeah, so Evil Dog 23 quid. There we go. So, I brewed it short down to 20 litres, um, and I chucked in two bags of sugar. I don't think I chucked eight ounces in. Yeah, that's why I brewed it short to that. And it came out at 10%. So I personally think that the... Um, the oh, get this one. Um, there we go. That the yeast couldn't go any higher. So bear in mind, I have put a bag of... Sh a teaspoon of sugar um, in each. So I am going to lose... Yeah, I might get a slightly sugary taste on this. So it's only a first tasting. So we'll see how it goes. Um, don't you find these new lids where they where they don't, they don't come off? Fucking annoying when you're trying to um, close them up. So then, uh, there we go. So yeah, hazy pour. Quite a dark orangey pour to be fair. Of a tropical nose going off. I actually got citrus earlier when I put my nose into the um, into the fermentation bucket, but there is an aroma to it. So probably putting it in late, I'm getting more of the aroma. So it's only because I forgot. And uh, yeah, so here's one of the here's one of the bags. And uh, oops, and here's the other. And I like the fact they're in bags. I, I personally like it. And you don't get all that crap all over your beer. And it, the hops were Simcoe and Summit. Yeah. 25 grams of each. And you know if I brew uh, Evil Dog again. Because I like it. It's a good base kit. Uh, if I can get the bags separate. Um, so I can, you know, do my own. That'd be interesting. And I personally think that uh, Bulldog Brews, a.k.a. Hambleton Bard, could be on to a winner here by having the the kit, a standard kit that does a double IPA uh, with a standard malt base. And you you get your own hops. And they can, they can you know, for, for a nice price, you know, not too silly price, but I have the hops in them sort of bags, these bags, because again, yeah, and 
<clears throat> I have the combos, so lower the price down because the hops aren't in the box. But I have different combos that you can use, or even bring out their own blooming combos. So, you, you know, you can chuck in what you like. And then maybe even, even uh, um, have like a stronger yeast that can brew more um, interesting beers. I'm getting the sugar from the, obviously I've got 24, 24 teaspoons of sugar in, Whoa. it's got a lovely taste to it, it's proper fresh, it's quite thick as well, so obviously the, the starting gravity was 11.50 and I think, 11.20, something like that, it ended up at 10, around about 10.40, and uh, um, the good person from um, Stuart Fisher, who is Brid Brewer and Tap Room, he actually told me, and I didn't know this, that, um, I mean, as long as it don't taste sugar, as long as the yeast has took out what you can, then uh, the beer will be a, a slightly thicker beer. No, I didn't know this. I, you know, it's not something I knew. I always thought if it didn't ferment all the blooming sugar out, it's going to taste sugary. Uh, which obviously you don't want, you know, you don't want nasty tasting sugar in your beer. But, um, oh, you can smell the ABV on that as well. And there's a decent, there's a decent thickness to the beer. I mean, I still taste the sugar from the, uh, for what's gone in for secondary fermentation. But straight away, that's tasting decent. So, what we've got to think about, it's 23 quid for the kit, 2 quid for the sugar. So that's 25 quid. That has made 20 litres. 20 litres is 40 bottles. So we're talking 50 pence a bottle. Um, obviously, it's a pint. If you're looking at pints, it's obviously, you know, a bit cheap. Um, I'll have to work out the maths on that, but um, five, six, eight instead of five hundred. I'll do it, and when I post it, I'll post it. When I when I when I actually share this, I, I'll post that. But a triple IPA for that price is bonkers, isn't it? You know, um, no, it's not forty pounds. Forty bottles, yeah, not forty pints because. It would have been 40 pints if I'd have brewed it all the way to 23 litres. Yes. Mm. Oh, the fitness on that is... I, I personally think putting that extra sugar in and making it a bit thicker has actually helped it. Obviously, it's the first tasting, so it's going to have to be, it's got to go through secondary fermentation to put some liveliness into it. But on the first, you know, look at that. Looks good. And I'd like to see more of these. And I'm tempted to get the uh, Love Brewing ones. Um, Although Love Brewing does my nothing because I don't use those bag for the hops. It's a lot messier affair. But if the beer looks good then it's worth having a poke into, you know, the, a double IPA for twenty odd quid. I mean let's be fair, double IPA twenty three quid for forty pints. You know, in 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 the cost of living crisis. What did you pay for a double IPA? Uh from the shops for five quid. Uh, adults wear a nine quid for a double IPA. Now, you not get many double IPAs for less than about three or four quid these days in a can. That same can is literally 50 or 60 pence each. Um, I'm sure my maths are wrong somewhere along the line. Um, yeah, my maths are wrong. Yeah, 
is 25 quid. 40 bottles for 25 quid, so yeah, it would be 60 pence, not bloody, yeah, 60 pence. So you're looking about 70 pence a pint, yeah. 70 pence a pint for, for a double IPA. You know, we're in, we're in tough times. You know, I'm in tough times, you know, make no mistake about it. I'm going through the same shit that everybody else is going through. Working longer hours just to put bloody money on the table. And uh, it's depressing, it really is. But when you're getting that for 70, about 70 pence a pint, roughly. Yeah, poor. And that's a triple, not a bloody double. <laughs> um, it's tasting good. Lovely aroma on it. it. Better the fresher. Fresher's better with this. Oh. Oh. God, I can't wait for it to get the secondary fermented. I was going to be tapping into them bottles. Um, but yeah. There's the beer. That's going to go solid within a few days. And I'll do, I'll stop, I need to start rounding up reviews because I've, I've not secondary, I've not done any reviews since I've, after the first tasting. So I've got quite a few homebrew reviews to do and this, I've drank some good homebrew to be fair. But uh, yeah, there we go. Um, well pleased uh, with how it's come out. Uh, the colour is what it is, I can't help the colour, you know, that's the brew. I'm definitely interested in doing some more of the double IPA kits. And um, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.